crypto peeps and welcome to SCN looking at the market the market cap is currently at 184 billion ethereum has come back up it's over $200 bitcoin has been around 6500 currently 6483 ripple is at 27 cents in general most of the markets look green well moving on to the news market rebounds ethereum soars 18 percent back over 200 and bitcoin regains 6500 dollar mark this was written 16 hours ago but it's still pretty accurate so yesterday the total market cap went up almost 12 billion dollars quite high next up which dap d app has had a 153 million dollar market cap and 38 users although gambling remains a multi-billion dollar industry placing bets is an illegal activity in many jurisdictions. Augur, R-A-P, as the name may suggest, is a decentralized platform that enables users to make predictions and place bets on them. The project was established in 2014, and, and having held its ICO in 2015, it took over three years for the project to launch its D-app on the Ethereum network. Following the bear market crash, I'm skipping a little bit, REP tokens have seen a mild upstick in the price since the beginning of the week, increasing by nearly 10% from Sunday's low at $13.80. Although promising, the slight increase will contribute little to rallying RRP holders, the token's value has more than halved in value in the space of a month. Interest has all but dried up. Google Trends, which analyzed the popularity of search for terms, puts Augur and REP token at some of the, their lowest points since the start of the year. The number of Augur users has declined since the summer. Information collected by DApp Radar shows the project has had 38 active users over the past 24 hours, well below the number of people using applications like CryptoKitties and Kyber network. Fewer users means fewer predictions, leading the markets to stagnate. Rather than popular riverboat casinos, Augur has more in common with the Murray Celeste. Do you guys own any Augur? What do you think about the DApp? Moving on to the next. Surrender or else. CCN headline reads. Thai authorities slap mastermind 24 million dollar bitcoin fraud with deadline the prime suspect in thailand's multi-million dollar bitcoin fraud cause a case now only has a few days to make plans for his surrender or else efforts to extradite him will kick off thailand's crime suppression division has given prinya jarovic who is believed to be believed to be the mastermind behind a fraudulent scheme in which a Finnish investor named Arni Ottavasarima lost 5,564 bitcoins, oh my goodness, worth nearly 800 million baht, approximately 24 million US dollars at the time. Uh, until September 17 to su surrender. Initially reported by the Bangkok Post, Prinya had previously been summoned by investigators for a meeting on September 14. <clears throat> Excuse me, but he failed to show up. His lawyer instead requested a postponement, arguing he needed more time to compile evidence for his defense. I have a question. Why do we have to steal from each other? It is like when people act like this, the governments will likely to get involved and that is not what we want, right? You know, crypto is supposed to be decentralized, not centralized. Moving on. Sh 
Charles Huskinson. He speaks about Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic ecosystem, and the road ahead. Quoting him now, at the end of the day, cryptocurrencies are really going to be something significant and they are actually going to be the centralized option, not something that is controlled by patrons or governments or controlled by small communities. He further adds, quote, and the great value for the Ethereum Classic community for the road ahead is that we now have to pursue a completely different roadmap from where Ethereum is eventually going to go. It is sure going to be a fight ahead, but we have to be our own guide. What do you think about the Ethereum Classic project? Do you like it? I just have to read you this, uh, this statement. A guy on Twitter wrote back to Hoskinson's, to Hoskinson's talk. His name is the man of the hour, and he said, shouldn't this guy be talking about Cardano? Focus in too many places, not good. Then you have a next person named Vito Gol, a YouTube user and cryptocurrency space follower, also wrote, we are still waiting for the new wallet faster and light. When is it coming out? What do you think? Do you think Hoskinson is doing things that he's not supposed to do? He should focus more on his own project? Tell me what you think. Last up today, blockchain browser Brave files ad tech complaints against Google for user data practices. Brave browser developed by Mozilla co-founder Brendan Ech, I think you say Ech, has filed privacy complaints in Ireland and Britain against Google Reuters reports. September 13, which was yesterday. Brave is an open source blockchain powered browser which blocks ads and website trackers. The browser is designed to improve online privacy by sharing less personal data with advertising customers, yet targeting of web ads by analyzing anonymous user browsing behavior. Does anybody of you use Brave? I haven't tried it yet. Tell me how it is. The complaint reportedly states that Google and the advertising technology ad tech industry practice wide scale and systematic breaches of the data protection regime in the way they publish personalized online ads. The complaint further explained that while a user is visiting a website, tens or hundreds of companies receive their personal data in order to place ads without making users aware that their data is being shared. Well, it depends on who you are. Thus, the plaintiffs are trying to trigger provisions in the European General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, that was a long name, which would require a European Union investigation into Google's data collection practices. The GDPR is designed to ensure that individuals have greater control over their personal data within the EU, as well as addressing the export of personal data outside the Union. Johnny Ryan, Brave's chief policy officer, told Reuters, quote, There is a massive and systematic data breach at the heart of the behavioral advertising industry. Despite the two-year lead in period before the GDPR, ad tech companies have failed to comply. End of quote. While the complaint argues that Google is violating the GDPR's requirement for personal data collection and distribution, Google has reportedly implemented strong privacy protections under consultation with EU regulators in order to comply with the regulation. In April, Brave Browser partnered with the Dow Jones Media Group to test blockchain technology in digital advertising, where users earn, earn basic attention tokens, but by engaging with ad content from verified publishers. Ich said then that Brave seeks to eliminate the middleman in the ad industry, stating that they are, quote, trying to reconnect the funding that comes in gross payments after the fact from advertisers and gets shopped down by a bunch of middle players, notably Google, and the remnants are giving to publishers. Well, that was the news for now. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any opinions, please comment down in the comment section below. I would love to read it. 
and you know what to do if you like the content. Like, share, subscribe and hit that notifica uh, notification bell. And I will come back to you all soon with some new news. Hey, dog.